What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to the British countryside with the Nuke. This has been my daily driver now for nearly 12 months and I've thoroughly enjoyed the ownership and experience of driving this car around. It has been an absolute beast and only recently have I experienced a little bit of bad luck with it. But nevertheless, it is back and it is better than ever. This video is going to be specifically talking about daily drivers and potentially replacing this bad boy. It has been an awesome car but I have recently been thinking about maybe it is time to move up to something a little bit more powerful than this little baby Audi. Having said that, I had the opportunity down in the south of France of driving one of the most popular daily drivers ever to be seen on the roads of the world. So let's head down to the south of France now and check out what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Audi RS6. This car behind me has got 730 brake horsepower, a Miltec exhaust, and is finished in Nardo Grey with a lot of other extras inside and out, including the massive diamond cut wheels with red brake calipers. This car is owned by GMK001, as you may have seen from Seb's video of him going to collect the car, and it has recently been lowered. You may be able to tell from the gap in the wheel arch and the wheels that it is very small and GMK has kindly given me the keys to drive this car up and down the hills of the mountains to get an idea of what this car is like and why it is such a popular daily. Well, it is a very, very, very beautiful interior. Foot on the brake. <laughs> so I've got the Olfi set up on the panoramic roof of the Audi RS6. Immediately, in comparison to the Audi A1, it is a lot bigger. It feels a lot bigger. It feels like it's got a lot more road presence. And uh, take your foot off the brake. <laughs> so I'm driving a left-hand drive car, RS6 with 730 brake horsepower. I can't imagine I'm going to be looking at the camera for too long. I need to keep my eyes on the road. The car is set up in dynamic. It's got a fantastic soundtrack. Even at 20% throttle, I already feel like the blood is pumping a lot faster around my body than driving the Audi A1. And to be honest, I don't really know why I am comparing the two cars. They are totally different, but fundamentally both used as daily drivers. So now we have got the valves open and you can hear and you can hear the crackles as you downshift and of course I'm taking this very easy. But there is a ton of power underneath my right foot. The Audi A1 has been a phenomenal car to me and it will continue to be a phenomenal car. But I thought whilst I've got the opportunity, I might as well drive what is known to be one of the best daily drivers to ever exist. And it comes from the Audi family, the same as my A1. And there are rumours, I'm not sure they're confirmed reports, but there are rumours that there is going to be an Audi RS1, which is going to be an ultimate hot hatch. But right now, driving this car, the pops, the bangs with the Miltec exhaust, the downshifts are brutal. Oh, 
The S-Tronic gearbox is smooth, seamless. It's about as good as it gets. I love the gearbox on the Audi S1, but when you've got upshifts that sound like this, and downshifts that crackle and pop like that, oh, this is a completely different beast. And real first impressions of driving this car is that the steering is a lot heavier. My motorbike, you crazy mother sucker. The steering on this car is a lot heavier than my Audi A1. Obviously the A1 is built for like ultimate city driving. Whereas this is fundamentally a powerhouse saloon performance car. The steering is direct. It's very, very weighted, which I actually like, especially on roads like this which are sort of single file mountain roads just at the top of Monaco. And I love being in manual in this car. You get a lovely rumble. I probably wouldn't ever take it out of manual, to be honest. Oh! Ho ho! <laughs> well, we managed to lose the suction cup off the panoramic roof. A fantastic. But we are back up and running in the RS6. <laughs> Probably not the best place to learn a little bit about the RS6. <laughs> the power. Not only is the delivery of power instant, it's an incredible sensation. Oh. <laughs> I love this car. The one thing that I would say about this car is it is an estate car. I think that it is too big, especially for my current needs and also like a sort of checklist. If I was to create a checklist of what the perfect daily is, I still think this is a little bit too big. It's a little bit long. I'm probably not gonna have to park this car today. But I am maneuvering it around hairpins and it doesn't feel too big, although there is a coach coming. Ah, ah. Oh, but it does sound good. And we're coming to the end of another run downhill. So let's turn back round and head uphill. Oh. <laughs> I understand exactly why people use this as a daily car because it's got the boot space, it's got enough seats to fit your mates in, got a fantastic soundtrack and I mean there's nothing more to say it's a phenomenal car I mean obviously this is my first drive I'm not gonna push it as well as that the owner of this car is following in the car behind with Seb because he wants to hear what his car sounds like from the outside and hopefully I'm doing it justice But as first drives go in a 730 brake horsepower RS6, I have no idea how much newton meters of torque this car delivers, but I can imagine it is a lot. It puts the power down very well with the Crocho system. And, oh, I just can't get enough of throttling the pedal. <laughs> when the exhaust system bounces off against the walls, the rock face, sorry, it sounds incredible. I'm just going to hold second gear around this corner. Maybe 
maybe it is time to upgrade power in my daily car. Have something that sits next to the AMG GTS and makes the AMG a little bit worried as to which car I'm gonna pick if I was to walk outside and they were both to be standing there. I can feel a YouTube series potentially coming on. If I am that serious about selling my Audi A1, the Nuke, it has served me incredibly well. It has been a phenomenal car. But this is just a little eye opener. Of course the price difference is, is, is something that I'd have to consider. I'd have to look at the, my actual budget for a daily car. This obviously is well out of that budget. But this is definitely a dream daily at some point in the near future. So there it is, my first like proper taste into the Audi RS6. It's such a buzz car and they're just like, every time I see them on the road, they've got so much road presence that it always turns my head. It is a phenomenal car to drive and thank you very much to GMK001 for allowing me to have this opportunity of driving his 730 brake horsepower Miltec Audi RS6. Using the Audi RS6 as inspiration, do I upgrade my Audi A1. Let me know in the comment box below and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe as well because I can feel a series coming on. Do I call it the ultimate sports car or even the daily supercar?